Cat pictures have been, have been the topic that everybody has touched upon. So a, cash, a cat picture, what is the price of your privacy? Internet services uh, collect data all the time. They offer your cat pictures, all kinds of information about you. How is it done? in browsers, it, uh, using cookies, the information that we provide is gathered and restored and stored. A lot of us uh, have clicked on uh, yes, no, yes, no. So there are, in some cases, it is possible to say that you don't want to have any cookies at all, but you can't get away from cookies. In some services, things have become very easy. You even haven't got a choice. For example, in Pinterest and Instagram, you can't look at anything and you have to log in. But once you have logged in, you are tied to the account and all your behavior is being fo followed and saved. And when you go to other web pages once you have logged in, then this is also recorded. So basically, what does a browser achieve? They offer you something, and what you get is targeted, is targeted advertising. If you say no to cookies, then you get random advertising. And the question is, how important the targeted advertising is? If somebody says that uh, I, I bought uh, these uh, um, uh, shoes for my kid, now, then during the next two uh, months you are going to get all kinds of pictures of kids' shoes because you clicked on a page. So I would prefer random advertising. But the data are used for something else. The data is being used for improving the service. They want, the service provider wants to understand what keeps somebody on their page and how to improve the service so that to earn more money. Uh, a lot of us have ad block and we use it so we get by without having to look at the advertising. But there is a problem. If uh, there are small content providers, for example, people who publish their uh, novels or show their art, then their only income comes from advertising. And if you use an ad block, they lose out. But if you do not value your uh, data, then you give away too much. People say, no, what does it matter? I am not doing anything illegal. Now let them look at my data. But when you give your uh, data to other people, you give them control of your life. The more data we give to others, the uh, more power those who collect data have over us. What is the price of your privacy? Supermarket chain Rimi. You go to the supermarket, you can log in. You go to the terminal, you uh, just uh, swipe your reward card, you are said hello, and here are uh, here are the things at best prices for you today. You can print out a coupon. Uh, I haven't used it myself, but my mother says that she has had offers that are relevant to her. And, uh, for example, she had uh, um, discount figs, and she's interested in figs, and it was profitable for her. But the question is, would she have bought these figs? 
gigs. Uh, without this offer, what is, what is the shop going to get for it? They are not being kind to us. In, the, in that case, if they were kind in general, then everybody would have uh, these offers. I assume that uh, you go to the shop, uh, you log in, they know exactly uh, at what time you went to the shop, uh, whether you were affected by their offers, whether you were interested, whether you bought things that were on offer when you left the shop. Of course, their aim is to offer you the best service possible, and it is all legal that they do. We, uh, before we said yes, we had to get acquainted with the terms and conditions. Well, this is the price of our privacy, actually. I don't know why are things done at Rimi. I don't use the service, but here, in this shop, uh, in this shop, in the supermarket chain Coop, I use it all the time. Uh, because here I have some profit. It is uh, this way I save some time. The same system is used in different supermarket chains. Uh, you um, take a handheld scanner, uh, you can peep all the things that you want to buy. You don't have to take things out of the basket, put them, uh, take them out at the cash desk. But now you can pu uh, put things in your shopping bag. You save a lot of time, uh, especially it is convenient when you go shopping with your kids. They don't have to wait for anything. If you don't make any mistakes, then you sometimes even get a small prize. Well, your shopping is checked. If everything is OK, you get a small chocolate or something. But here, uh, a lot more data is collected than in the first example that I gave you. Because this way, uh, your whole route through the supermarket is registered. Uh, fish, a peep, something else, peep. And there is nothing illegal about it because we give out, uh, we give away this uh, piece of our pre privacy and here we win something. Uh, this is our time. What is done with the data? The data is recorded, analyzed, and based on the analysis, decisions can be made, thus improve processes, make processes more efficient, make processes more uh, profitable. This result can be achieved in, in different ways. Uh, here in this map you see the data of wastewater, waste these are aggregated data, and they can be um, and then can, can't be personalized again because these, this data is non-personalized. Uh, but as far as uh, health data goes, there is no way to aggregate data. We have to use personal data. Even if this study has been carried out ethically, um, we have to pay a lot of attention to the ways how data is processed. In 2020, the highest, uh, the highest court instance said that uh, we have to use um, more stringent data protection measures if data from the European Union goes to the United States. Because the data that um, is in the hands of an American company is controlled by the state because there is law in the United States which says 
that should they demand the data, the companies have to oblige and offer the data without even informing the uh, person that his or her data has been used. In Europe, at the moment, we don't have the cloud services that are equal in quality and amount to Microsoft and other service providers. This is a serious problem. Another question is identity. It also poses problems. Uh, the uh, uh, European identity in the future is supposed to be wallet-based. So all the data, just like with the COVID certificates, um, these certificates are going to be in the wallet, and those who have the control of the wallet control identity in Europe in the future. You know this uh, saying that uh, don't put oral metaphors, uh, data, eggs in one basket. Uh, the easiest way to handle data is that they are all in, in one place, in one Excel table, in your own computer. And people who are educated today, who have university degrees, uh, use this method uh, because this is how they have been taught. Uh, People also think that if the cryptographic keys are in one place, then the cryptographic keys are kept there in a safe manner. But it is not right. The uh, uh, studies have shown that that uh, they can be hacked, whether by internal or external means. But now let's speak about the interoperability framework XROAD in Estonia. In Estonia, we have no uh, one uh, database that would take uh, that would put in one pot all the data. We can use privacy technologies, for example, a secure multi-party computation. We produce federated learning, um, federated statistics. And so the processes can be uh, carried out uh, separately, uh, so the models of processing uh, can be put together in one place. Uh, we can have multi-party computation, but we can also share the key. Uh, the cryptographic key that defends our data is uh, divided. Half of it is with the service provider, half of it is with the customer. So, uh, we have uh, this service smart ID uh, in the Baltic countries, which operates exactly on the same way. So uh, the service provider hasn't got the whole uh, control of the identity, and the smart device doesn't have the small full control of identity. For example, if the telephone is stolen, cloned, then it is possible to detect if identity has been cloned. Now, what's going to happen in the future? Uh, the future generations understand differently um, it, it, environmental problems, and most probably it happens to security. If future generations want to keep um, their photos or other data in a more secure way, then the decisions that we make today might hamper, uh, might hamper them in the future to be more secure. It is very difficult uh, to take back anything that has been put up in the internet. Grown-up people are very conservative. They don't want to change their habits, but maybe uh, future generations are more ready to protect uh, their privacy, just like they have been used to uh, driving wearing safety belts. Thank you.
iPhone. Do you use Huawei? Is there uh, a danger that the digital wallet in our smartphones, is there a danger that this uh, uh, information will be used by somebody else? Because if somebody um, can, has control over our wallet, it is, it is very mm, worrisome, but we, actually we shouldn't worry. Uh, we should be careful. As I said, I can't understand the system used in the uh, Rimi supermarket chain, my first example, but I can understand the other one because uh, here uh, I save time, but only being tempted by advertising it is something incomprehensible. Sometimes uh, data get lost in, uh, the, in, in the cloud. Should they be replicated in physical devices? But there is so much data that uh, the cloud uh, doesn't, uh, uh, cannot uh, accommodate all data. Uh, I think that you don't have to preserve everything. For example, my emails for the last uh, 10 years. I was very much surprised when um, in our company uh, we were told that um, uh, that our mailboxes are full, uh, space needed to be added. But it is possible to avoid duplication. There are some technologies for it. I really don't know uh, how uh, much you need the third draft of your document that you drew up last year. So every year, if you uh, have time, uh, just delete your last year mailboxes. You don't have to delete everything but uh, keep the most, uh, the most necessary documents. Take a day and go through your mailbox. I have about 200 mails a day. It, doesn't, uh, it isn't enough to use a day for it. So do it, uh, uh, currently do it every day. For example, I have a mailbox uh, that has temporary uh, mails in it. For example, there is um, an invitation to a meeting and it is in the uh, temp mailbox. When I have been to the meeting, I delete them. I try to take care of my mailbox, says the moderator.